Okay, I apologize for the wind noise. It's windy today. You notice, change of scenery. This isn't the trailer park. Nope. Found another place, found a new place. Finally getting out of there. 10 years of that place was enough. Too many issues I'm not gonna list. Got a garage. Check out this huge yard. It's got central air. It's two stories, three bedroom. The AC doesn't work at the moment. The indoor fan comes on, but the outdoor unit makes no attempt to run. You notice you got all these China Matronics. So you got the separate meter for it. This meter sends power to this disconnect, sends power to here, but you also got this thing here. You know, like all the different LED statuses if it will focus. Because this way DTE can shut it off and they can decide when you can use it. So I don't know if they got disconnected or if there's something wrong with the contactor or it could be fuses blown in the disconnect. I don't know. Something I'll look into. Got steps for the back door. Inside now. Here's the laundry room. Water heater. I was like there might have been some flare-ups because it's rusty down there. New furnace. I don't know what that thing does. See, they bypassed the hot. There used to be one here. Now they screwed it into here using some drywall screws. I was saying, got interrupted there. They bypassed. This used to be the hot here. Then they attached it here using packs. So you got your hookups. This is your hook, hot water hookup. Cold water hookup for your washer or drain into here. No gas hookup for a gas dryer yet, so I have to have that hooked up. But I at least run my electric dryer for now. Vents right there. Get your panel. All your different breakers. Electric stove. No gas hookup for that either. Let's come around. Here's the kitchen. Microwave. If you watch my videos like you should, you see I had videos on this when I repaired it. Took this out of the shop and I lost it. Yeah, already on the beer hard, that's from yesterday. Not quite moved in yet. Fridge comes with the house. It's a Kenmore. Here's a hot point electric stove, four burners. Oven light don't work. Just needs a bulb. To probably take it from our stove. Fin the other place. Check out the windows. Nice bay window for the kitchen. Hand crank, open close, got removable screens. This would be considered the dining room. All the crap in here right now. Now the fan. Oh, no, oh wait. No, sorry, can't have the lights on. Ceiling fan gods will complain. Stuff for the attic and stuff. I got attic storage space too. New bird feeder. Closet underneath the stairs. Got the carpet cleaner in there. Some more fiends. That China Pride one was left behind. Some boxes. This is the living room. Already had the cable company come out and hook everything up. The TV's still at the other place right now. The entertainment center at the old house is going to stay there because it's not going to survive the move. It's already caving in. I got a new one ordered. So when it comes, I'll assemble that. So the cable company came out here. This line was already here. They just put a new connector at the end. Ungrounded outlets. So I ordered some adapters, but the orange box door is taken forever. Due to the pandemic, and the order might be delayed. It's six stupid outlet adapters. You can pull them easily. Five minutes to go to the damn aisle and pull them. You know, kiss my ass. Blinds came with it. No strings attached. So the Wittons won't choke strangle themselves. These little kids. Old fashioned blinds here. The front door. Light switches for the porch light and I don't know what the other switch does. There's no overhead light in the living room with the two bedrooms upstairs. Only in the dining room, kitchen, hallway, 
in mom's room. Let's go in real quick. See the cable box is already set up. Mute it, so let's can I mute it? Susan, huh? copyright, shut the channel down. Computer's already set up. So this will be mom's room. Hardwood floors throughout the whole first floor. Looks like real hardwood, so you gotta be careful when moving stuff so doesn't get scratched. Computer, old fashioned blind here with the actual cord. That'll have to probably get changed. Closet, smoke detector with those 10 year batteries. See, double switch for this room. So, this room didn't have a cable hookup. He just fed the cable through that hole where the AT&T box is. He was able to see he didn't have to drill a hole, he just used an existing hole. Splitter, so one for the modem, one for the cable box. It is currently, that's for tomorrow. It's about the temperature it is right now anyway, 66. The temperature inside here is 68. So I flick it to cool, the indoor fan comes on, but the outside unit makes no attempt to run. And another shot of the kitchen sink, and we got a sprayer. None of our last two houses had one. GFCI, switch here for the hallway light. You got a light switch over here. Doesn't do nothing unless it controls that outlet over there. There's no outlets under the sink, so if I wanted to put it in a garbage disposal, I'll have to feed the wire down. And we look in the fridge again. Dr. Pepper, mics, cores, some other stuff. Freezer, hot pockets, chicken nuggets for now. That sign was here. So, bathroom, extra anyone X's favorite spot. GFCI. Lift this up. Turn it that way for cold, that way for hot. Get your necessities. No, this is a. Uh, oh, this one's cordless, but it's. Oh, there it goes. Takes it a while. So you got the privacy mesh on the bottom. That one's stiff. Come in here. Got your standard faucets. This was stiff at first. I had to actually use a claw hammer. Use the claw part to pry it up, then I actually had to tap it down. Did that a couple times and then worked it. And now it's free, so the shower head works, but it leaks, so it's going to get replaced. Take the one from our old house. Might just take, might take this one off and put it at the old house, you know, just swap them. This is so you can take a bath, it'll plug the drain. Got some hooks. Would you believe they actually got USB powered hooks like this now too? That way millennials can electrocute themselves by texting while showering. Give me a break. Let's see. That's pretty much it for the downstairs. This closet sticks because of the paint. Already got some toilet paper. Most of these boxes is my crap from my room. I still got more stuff to haul over. So... This is pretty much it for the first floor. I think I showed you everything on the first floor. Got some CFLs, which you can't get in stores no more. Got some of my metal highlight bulbs and mercury vape. This is mercury vapor here from one of my fixtures so it wouldn't get damaged. So, well, I guess I might as well. You know, somebody is going to be a pain in the ass if I don't show the fan running. So, let me kill myself by climbing over stuff, just to please the fan gods. First speed, I believe, is high. Huh? Gotta shut the light off.
I had to shake itself to pieces. It wobbles like a bitch because the blades are balanced, off balanced. That appears to be top speed. That'd be medium. Low. And F-U-C-K spells O-F-F. Two CFLs and a uh, regular incandescent. There, happy. Onto the second floor.